Content without strategy is art. Content with strategy is advertising. Dub is better for your skin. Advertising is about the transfer of someone's attention Go! from something they desire to do to a paid message. Are these noise canceling? Thank you, you've been very helpful. Someone who creates great content, great storytelling, says, I will gather a large audience and then I will let you borrow their attention for a period of time. Stay tuned. <laughs> In exchange, you help me subsidize the cost of this amazing content that I'm making. That is criminal abuse. There's always been a lag in advertising catching up as media evolved. Uh, television, uh, when it first came into being, the ads looked like static print ads with audio over the top, because that's what a radio ad looked like. And so every time the medium evolves, advertising takes just a little while to catch up to the medium itself. It's an interesting time overall for the world of media. Everyone's a content producer. But it all begs the question of something I call the denominator problem, and that's that there's still only 24 hours in a day. If we're lucky, we sleep for eight of them. We work. We do things that don't involve an opportunity to transfer our attention to an advertisement. So despite that in the numerator we can create infinite amounts of content, the denominator is how much human attention is actually available for advertisers. Because without attention, an advertising can have no effect. So people have more and more options to opt out of advertising altogether. Paid ad-free models, DVRs, ad blockers online. You have these two forces that are putting advertising in a very weird place right now. And that's reaching this kind of crisis state where it's in competition with all of the creation of, of, of content and at the same time trying to figure out what its role is going to be in an interactive on-demand world. The goal has to be less ads. I mean, it's, it's what consumers are already doing. Historically, advertising was based on a reach frequency model. And the frequency was saying, I need to expose Joe to this ad 20 times. Not because I need Joe to watch the ad 20 times, but because I don't know which ones he paid attention to. And I'm seeking Joe's attention, and then I'm seeking recall for the message. We also know that that reach frequency model is based on some waste built in. Not everyone's in the market for trucks, not everyone's in the market for diapers, not everyone is my target audience. If we can make targeting better, we can reduce some waste. If we can make interactivity part of it, we can increase message recall. If we could get from needing to show Joe an ad 20 times to one time, we can get to a tolerable ad load, but the advertiser still gets their return, the consumer gets their content subsidized, and a publisher has a better overall experience. Yeah, yeah, oh. As far as the ads themselves, we're going to an interactive and on-demand world. Where is interactive and on-demand advertising? If I can watch content when and where I want, how come I can't time and place shift my advertising? It just takes a while for advertising to catch up to the medium. Get your morning paper! The typical currency for a video ad, for a 30 second video ad, is, is the CPM rate, right? That's the cost per thousand. Uh, so let's say a typical rate is a $30 CPM. That's the $30 per thousand video ad shown. That means iJo is one consumer, the marketer's paying three cents to show me a 30 second video ad. Now, from the marketer's perspective, that sounds like a good rate. From Joe's perspective, that's paying me three cents for 30 seconds of my time, or really paying for three cents worth of my content for 30 seconds of my time. Most consumers should buy back their time. They should go get a DVR, they should add block, they should add avoid, and that's what's happening, right? Because marketing and media buying doesn't properly value human attention. What it's valuing is the potential for human attention. If we can move to a world where we can do guaranteed attention, fewer ads, interactive ads, immersive ads, we could raise the rate and we could move the conversation from a battle between uh, content creators and marketers about lower, lower, lower rates and saying, no, it's about guaranteeing proper human attention the right audience, someone who's actually in market for goods and services, 
and a great experience overall and higher rates that properly values people's time. And this isn't a theoretical you know, exercise anymore. Like, I mean, you see with all sorts of platforms offering ad-free options, they're searching for that price point where they say, at what price would a consumer say, here's my money, I'll take the ad-free version. That's the price that we have to get to for advertising.